So now Shri Prakasham Pillai is asking that is there any use of reading books uh, if somebody wants to be released or somebody wants to be liberated, right? So Shri Prakasham Pillai is a student of philosophy, so of course he is reading quite a lot of stuff. So he is saying, is there any use of reading all these books altogether, right? If I want to be liberated, if I want to be free of all this. And the Raman Maharshi replies, all these scriptures basically saying that in order to be liberated or in order to be get in order to get released, one needs to quiet his mind down. Right? And he says, once you understood that, then there is no need to read endless books. Right? And then he says that in order to quiet the mind down, one need to investigate one's true nature. That is the way you quiet the mind down permanently. And that inquiry has to be done by yourself. It, it, it is not something that you want to understand. It, this understanding is not useful. You need to realize it with your own eyes and with your own wisdom. And that has to be done within the frame of body. That has to be done what he calls within the five seats. That has to be done on your own experience. right? So five seats are basically your body, your uh, prana, your mind, your intellect, your bliss. So the self has to be find out and investigated within this real frame of the experience. right? So, so how could that be done in the body? You know, how could that be done in the books? Right? This is a futile to search something like a self within the book. And then he says that ultimately there will be a time when you have to forget all the things that you have understood. Yeah, <laughs> interesting answer. So he says, the first thing is all the book is basically telling you if you want to be liberated or if you want to be free, you need to quiet the mind down. Yeah, that's the essential teaching according to Raman Maharishi what you need to get out of these scriptures and once you understand that then you need to actually do it <laughs> you need to actually quiet the mind down and you do it by investigating the self you do it by investigating who you are right and you do it in your frame of the body you and you can understand the self through the body something like you know self is the whole and self is the omnipresent and self is all kind of that is stuff but that is useless because that is just understanding that is not your experience so Raman Mahesh is saying you have to experience it you have to figure this out you have to investigate it you have to inquire it within five seats within the real physical body within the mind within the intellect within the bliss you have to see you have to look for yourself what exactly is the self in this frame right in this frame of experience what exactly is the self and that inquiry has to be done within that cannot be done in the books, right? So he's saying basically this book is good enough for a certain level for understanding like, okay, you have to quiet the mind down in order to get liberated. And to understand the self, you have to go through yourself. Right? You have to do this inquiry within yourself. And then he says that uh, there will be a time when you have to forget everything that you understood or everything that you read, right? And that means like this understanding is basically rather superficial layer in terms of the what he calls five seats, right? The first one is your body, the second one is your mind, uh, second one is your prana, your energy, the third one is your mind, and fourth one is intellect, right? So your understanding, our understanding of any kind or any kind of thought is up to this mind and the intellect, right? I understood something, I intellectually understood something, right? That can only take you so far, right? That, that layer, beyond that layer, what he called bliss and uh, the real self, uh, there is no thought altogether. There is no understanding like that. It is more intuitive, right? So he's saying there will be a point when you cross the intellect and at that point you have to leave all the knowledge, right? Because knowledge cannot go further than that. Understanding cannot go further than that. In that sense, he's saying obviously there will be a time when you have to forget everything that you understood, everything that you read, right? Because you have to transcend that layer to go further. Interesting answer, beautiful answer. So, yeah, he says, <laughs> you need to read the book to get the basic idea, basically, and then go and do the job, right? Don't get stuck in the books uh, and try to figure out and sort out everything. That won't be helpful. Yeah, get the fundamentals and just move and start doing the work.